Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 13th. Uh, we're just going to jump right in here, Cancer, and we are going to see what is going on for you at this time, and that will be that. But, Cancer, you have this uh, time for nap card, clearly, <laughs> and you have the Hermit as well, so clearly, it, you know, I would say at the time of you watching this reading, it might be a good time for you to take some time for yourself and for you to, you know, kind of like focus on things that you actually want to focus on. But uh, all in all, this is a very good reading. Uh, I love that spider card that you have there. Really good card. And you also have the magician, which is kind of like a similar energy. But you have this time for nap card. I also want to see what the next card is. And this is probably why it's time for nap. You have the clean it up card. The clean it up card is like about cleaning up your vibration and things like that. You know, Esther Hicks always says like when we're napping or sleeping, we are kind of slowing down or we're actually in non-resistance. We're not resisting anything when we're asleep, right? We're kind of like in the flow. So I do feel it would be literally a good time for you to take a nap. I also feel it would be a good time for you to kind of clean up your vibes. But in this row, you have the Hermit, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Uh, two sevens, to me, represents internal fears that don't exist. So I would definitely let go of your fears with these two sevens here. These Seven of Swords could be lying, cheating, stealing. I do feel some of you have dealt with like, you know, whatever you want to call it, third party um, type stuff <laughs> uh, going on here. Um, or just someone... And I'm pretty sure I said this to you recently. Uh, it looks like there's someone that you've dealt with that just isn't moving, making any moves. You know, it's like maybe they, they sell you a dream, but it just doesn't go anywhere. So I feel like you're kind of moving away from that person. I feel like you're looking for someone who's more fun. And I also feel like you're looking, it's kind of a weird words, but I'm getting the words looking for a different worldview. You know, again, I feel maybe you um, date a certain type of person who always looks at the world a certain way. And I feel like you are looking for someone who has a different worldview. I don't know, it popped into my head. <laughs> so I'm going to say it. But I feel like some of you, it's like maybe you're just looking for a, you know, a more positive person. Maybe you're finding that the people you're attracting are like just too negative or something like that. Again, take it how it resonates. But, you know, that's what I see here. You have these Seven of Pentacles. I feel like everybody's been getting the Seven of Pentacles quite a bit. It's almost like you just want things to be more worth it. You know, Seven of Pentacles is my, is the juice worth the squeeze card? You know, if I put energy into this business, this project, this whatever, am I going to get out what I put in? And so I feel you want to know, and including relationships, that you're going to get out what you put into things. You also have the Hermit. The Hermit represents a time of introspection. Everything about the hermit represents wisdom as well. He has the cloak, the gray cloak, which represents wisdom. The gray beard represents wisdom in the tarot and everything like that. I feel, and he's also holding the staff here. And, and kind of what I feel is that the staff, it, it's funny because what I want to say is actually he has the star in his lantern right here and he needs to let that star out. But you have the star in your reading next in the next row and the, the, I feel like what's more important here is his staff. You know, one of my favorite people of all time, Les Brown, says, you know, when, when the you know, when the, uh, the going gets tough, basically your rod and your staff will be there to comfort you. It'll be the thing that you lean on. And your rod and your staff is basically your reason why you're doing something. You know, if you're starting a business, it could be for your children. That can be the thing that supports you. It could be because you want to make the world a better place. It could be anything, right? Whatever your reason is. And I've been saying to people for a while, it's come up as important for whatever reason. And uh, again, it mostly comes up on the star. And I feel that having a reason for why you're doing something or at least getting clear on it will make it easier during those tough times. But I actually don't even think you're entering into tough times. I feel like you're entering into good times is what I would say. You have this spider card and it says, make your dreams or what does it say? Make your dreams real. <laughs> and I feel definitely some of you could be manifesting dreams. I always look at this card it's very important. It's one of my favorite cards in this deck. And I feel that the spider is all about creativity and putting energy into creation, right? Uh, one of my favorite quotes from The Science of Getting Rich is, uh, an ounce of trying is better than a pound of theorizing. And what he means by that is that you're better off creating something and it, in, instead of just like thinking about something that you want to create. And I see that here because of this card in the star. I feel like something needs to be creative. Or created. So if things are going slowly in your life, I would focus on creative energy with this spider spirit. I feel like it's saying, 
you know, it's like maybe you don't have everything you need. Maybe you don't have all the resources necessary to get started on a new business project, or maybe you're trying to do something else, like get into a relationship. Maybe you feel like you don't have the resources, but I do feel like stepping into that kind of more creative energy would be a good idea with this card. This is a great card for getting started in journaling as well. So if you're like journaling, um, writing things down or anything like that, I feel it would be a really good time for you to do that with the spider spirit as well. Uh, in this row, you have the Hierophant, the Three of Pentacles, and the Star. Again, the Star is clearly the most important card here. The Star is a card of your dreams. <laughs> so I really feel you could be making a dream real here, Cancer, with the Star card. I just feel like you need to, number one, focus on it right here. The Star is kind of like a card of your North Star. It is a card of your guiding light, the thing that kind of motivates you. It's also a card of um, realizing that you come from universal source intelligence an infinite source. She's pulling water from the pool of universal consciousness on this card. I also am very focused on these ripples. Um, I'm getting a lot here <laughs> on the star card. The ripples, it's kind of like the vibrations going out. I feel like you're putting a lot out into the universe and maybe you're waiting for the response, right? I feel like the this is the response right here. Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is quality work. I feel like people are telling you you are going in a good direction or that you're finding success. And I, I really feel like you need to almost tune into that. You know, sometimes I think, you know, we want to start a business. So it's like maybe we start a YouTube channel. And I feel like m m it might seem small, right? There might be just like one person that's like, oh, keep doing this. But I feel like those are the ripples kind of being responded to. It's like you're putting something out and people are responding to it. So no matter what you're doing, I feel people are going, like there's something here about communication on this Three of Pentacles, uh, specifically for you. This is not a card of communication. <laughs> well, it could be. You could kind of say it is because they might be communicating, you know, the people on the card. But uh, like, I feel like you're receiving a lot of feedback. Maybe that's a better word to use uh, in all areas of your life. And it could start small, but I feel like you need to use that. I feel like that's kind of like motivation or I feel like you need to use it as motivation because it's like literally the universe responding. And you have the Hierophant. Uh, I would learn as much as you possibly can at this time. I feel a lot of times when people are stuck, they don't know what to do. I always say learn, right? Um, so I would, you know, it's an amazing card of learning. It's also a card of kind of traditions. And not only that, it's a card of marriage. I don't really see this as a love reading yet. Uh, we're going to clarify in just a second, but I'm not picking up on a lot of love energy, but some of you, you know, could be thinking about marriage, love, you know, things along those lines as well. Uh, next, you have the this uh, July card, and you also have this door card. It says opportunities are waiting for you. So for some of you, there could be opportunities coming in in the month of July. I don't I don't really trust psychic timing. Uh, to me, the universe doesn't wear a watch. You know, things happen when they're supposed to happen. So um, it could be in July or by July that you know these doors are opening. I kind of feel like it's last last July is when the door opened, and it's like maybe you've just been learning about new opportunities that are coming in for you. And that's what's uh, kind of like going on here with this card. I also, I, I do feel that there could be a person who is born in July coming in for you as well if you are looking for love. Uh, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Judgment card, and the Magician. Again, the Magician and the Spider, that Spider card both say, be careful of your words. It's like you will manifest what you speak about very quickly. So I would be working on kind of use your powers of manifestation and using your powers of manifestation I would be careful of your words as well, and I would make sure you're using positive words. Uh, next, you have the judgment card. I kind of feel you are waking up to something, and it's probably the feedback. I feel like this. there's something here in this reading. I feel like it's very simple, but <laughs> you know, I think simple is better, as I always say, and I also feel like simple is easier to deal with. So I feel this week you should be paying attention to feedback, even if it's small. And you're wondering, like, am I moving in the right direction? I feel like people are, are going to be like, hey, you did a good job on this project. That should be a clue that you should move in that direction. Maybe you're trying to get healthy. Pe maybe people are telling you you're looking good. It's like, hey, that's a clue that you're kind of like on the right path, right? So I feel like you need to listen to feedback this week. Um, it, it, you know, and sometimes, again, I feel like when things are that obvious, when people are like, hey, this is good or whatever, we, we just don't pay attention to it, right? Uh, you do have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, to me, I feel like it's saying you could play big or something or play bigger. <laughs> Those are the words that are popping into my head. It doesn't really make much sense. But Knight of Pentacles, sometimes he's playing it safe. And I feel there's a need for you to maybe take some bigger risks or to put yourself out there more with this Knight of Pentacles this week in not just one area of your life, but all areas of your life. So, um, you know, again, we're not talking about 
dangerous risk here. We're talking about calculated risk. And I feel it would be a good time for you to kind of, you know, play big or something. I don't know. It keeps popping into my head. Uh, with the Hermit, you have the Three of Cups, card of celebration, card of reunion as well. You're definitely coming out of Hermit mode in this reading. Again, you had that time for a nap card. But this is your this first row is your past position. So I feel you're leaving hermit mode. I feel like you're leaving the, you know, the cave. <laughs> I feel like you're ready to celebrate. I feel like you're ready to spend time with other people, all that other good stuff. So I feel very so a much more social energy than what you've been dealing with. With the seven of pentacles, nine of swords, I get agonizing. I, li I literally get those, that word popping into my head with the nine of swords. I feel like you're agonizing over a decision here cancer and i feel like you need to not do that again the answer is very simple if you're trying to make a decision here i feel like people are giving you feedback one way or the other then i would pay attention to the feedback and again it's not advice there's a difference you know it's like sometimes people give us advice and personally i don't always i don't think we should take advice as gospel right if someone gives us advice including the words that I say, definitely don't listen to me. People think I'm joking when I say it, but I'm serious. It's like taking the information, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest, as I always say, because again, I think one of the most dangerous things that we're dealing with right now is people, you know, looking for a guru or a God or something like that, um, you know, which I feel is very dangerous. That's how we end up in these dangerous positions, right? But if someone is giving you feedback, that's different. It's not advice. They're saying like, hey, you did a really good job at this or whatever. I'd be paying attention to that, especially if you're like agonizing over a decision. I just get this back and forth thing. Maybe you're watching a lot of tarot videos <laughs> about a decision that you should make. Uh, I kind of have two rules personally. One is if something isn't a hell yes to me, it's a hell no, right? I actually use the F word, believe it or not, cancer. But if something is not a hell yes or an F yes, it's an F no, right? I feel like that's one of the biggest, um, most important changes I've made to my life and over like the past 10 years. I heard it on a podcast a long, long time ago from a person. I don't even remember who it was that talks about that rule. It might be Tim Ferriss, um, but I'm not sure. And uh, ever since I heard that rule, I, I implemented it into my life. If something isn't a hell yes, it's a hell no. And um, it really, really has helped in decision making and things like that. Because again, usually if we're like hesitating on something, it, you, maybe it's a no, right? Uh, the other thing is sometimes I always ask myself if something, if I kind of feel like something is a hell no, then maybe I look at it and say, or, but am I afraid of it? You know, am I scared of it? And that's why it's a hell no. Um, because to me, fear is not a good reason not to do something, especially if it's going to lead to growth. So if I look at something and, it's a, and I might say hell no, but then I take a second, I say, wait a minute, is it going to lead to growth though? Is it going to lead to me learning something important or having a great experience? Then I do it. Then I say yes. Right. So, you know, I don't hope maybe that'll help. With the Seven of Swords, you have the High Priestess. Uh, I feel like you need to trust your intuition, you know, especially on any tricky situations. I feel like tricky situations are going to be very obvious to you here, Cancer. Um, and I do feel like there are going to be tricky situations that pop up, right? Um, I would be careful this year of anything that seems too good to be true. I would be careful of investments. Literally, I talk about this all the time. I, mean, I was on a podcast like three months ago now. And uh, on that podcast, um, the, po the person was asking me about investments. And I said, this year, I think is going to be very volatile. And it uh, looks like I was right because <laughs> everything is very up and down, up and down. And like I said to that person, it's like, if you know what you're doing and you're doing your research, you'll probably be fine. But uh, if you don't know what you're doing, then I'd be very careful. But I kind of get that here. I, I would be careful of get rich quick schemes, um, you know, anything that doesn't seem right, anything that makes big, huge promises that kind of seem impossible than it probably is. You know, I'm kind of getting that type of energy here. So I just be careful of those things. With the uh, Hierophant, you have the King of Swords. Again, an expert. Hierophant can be kind of sometimes like a mentor or someone you look up to. King of Swords, also a mentor or someone you look up to. So it's a great week for learning. And again, it could be any gender. Just because they're both men on that card doesn't mean it's a man. It could be any gender that you're dealing with. So if you have, if you have a mentor or someone you look up to, especially if you're trying looking for answers, that might be good information to take in. Again, I, you know, I keep encouraging people. I'll, I'll tell you right now. This is why I encourage people to kind of come to their own conclusions right here. The star. As I've said to everyone else, we had a bunch of energy in Aquarius. We still have some energy in Aquarius. We're in like the age of Aquarius. Uh, part of the thing is we came from Pisces, the age of Pisces, which is like external. Now Aquarius, internal. And I feel we have to make decisions for ourselves. And the universe wants us to do that. So again, I feel like it's a great time for you to go seek mentors. But what I would do is I would suck in, suck in the information and I would process it and say, you know, what is good about this? What can I use for myself and what should I get, get rid of? I think it's super important that we slow things down and we kind of like take in information, including the words that leave my mouth, like I said, um, 
And, you know, I, and then we say, okay, this makes sense to me. This doesn't, right? And that's what I would do here. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is like uh, carrying a burden. Three of Pentacles says allow people to help you. If you're working on any projects, businesses, anything like that, I feel it'll be a great time for teamwork, of course. Teamwork makes the dream work this year. Uh, with the star, you have the Ten of Swords. Uh, I feel like you're healing from, you know, endings, difficulties, things like that. I don't consider the Ten of Swords to be a bad card. I mean, I don't consider, I consider all tens to be positive for the most part, uh, because this is a card of something that is uh, dead done over with. And, you know, he is definitely dead. It doesn't take Ten Swords to kill a person. So I always tell people, it's like, uh, it doesn't get much worse than this. <laughs> you know, it's a card of rock bottom. It's as bad as it gets. So I feel for a lot of you, you could be healing from a Ten of Swords. Maybe you uh, ended a difficult relationship or something like that. But I kind of get more, this is more about like healing, which we kind of saw in the first row. Um, and, you know, that's what I'll say there. Um, by the way, he's also making the same symbol with his hand here that the Hierophant is making on his card. It represents a blessing. So I do feel there could be like blessings coming in for you. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Page of Swords. Mm, I feel like you need to, too much thinking. You know, this, this is like analysis paralysis is what I would say. I feel, like I said with a spider, you know, I feel like more action and that will provide the feedback for you. It's a pretty simple reading here, Cancer. I feel if you're like working, trying to build a business, I feel like it's time for action. That's too much thinking right there. It's like you already have the knowledge. You already have everything you need to get started. So what, what I would say here is this reading is saying you need to take action so you can receive feedback so that you can make some decisions. Same thing in love. It's like maybe you haven't been in a relationship, but it's like, how do we know what we're good or bad at if we don't get feedback from another person, right? <laughs> and I think part of that goes with, you know, we have to be honest with ourselves as well after a relationship ends. But that's why I encourage people to date because it's like, you know, I, I get a lot of comments from people that are like, I'm never dating again. I'm like, okay, well, you know, basically you're number one, you're allowing someone from the past to control your life, your future life. Number two, you're preventing yourself from having experiences that you could learn from, right? And it's like, I understand getting hurt, but at the same time, you know, as I say, I don't know, I'm a hard ass, right, Cancer? I always say, yeah, I understand getting hurt, but number one, you're not dead. Number two, uh, really, as my favorite person ever, Kyle C says, it's really your expectations that, are, that were broken. It's not your heart that is broken. Your heart isn't broken. So I always tell people, go have the experience and f try to figure out what went wrong. What, what, what did you do wrong? What did they do wrong? What can you avoid in the future? With the uh, judgment card, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, a card of success. Uh, and again, it's a card of apprenticeship. You have uh, two cards of apprenticeship, actually. You have the Hierophant in this card. This is a card of like putting the work in, but uh, I love this card because to me, it's material success on the horizon. But with the judgment card, it also kind of proves my point of like needing to put work in to get a result so that you can move forward. It's like, so I, I, I get that whole, you know, an ounce of, uh, of action is worth more than a pound of theorizing, as I said earlier. It's like much better for you to take action right now, even if it's an imperfect action on anything that you're doing, because at least you're getting feedback. Uh, and with the magician, you have the Knight of Cups. See, you have attracted something very beautiful into your life. That's what this reading is. <laughs> I feel like you are like kind of attracting not just a relationship, but the Knight of Cups, he's normally looking into that cup. It's like he's imagining his dream life. He's imagining the things that he desires to have. So I feel like you're kind of manifesting really something beautiful into your life. This looks really, really nice for you, Cancer. Definitely, I would just take action. That's it. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.